everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven. We are here in our German ranch getting ready for another day of trying to get the many beautiful rare constellation foals that we are chasing down. And we're also going to see if we are able to get a tier 4 Arabian horse. So I'm really excited actually that we have finally unlocked that ability. There's only 2 hours left as of this point as you guys can see to finish up with the quarter of Morgan and Arabian. So next time you guys come back we'll have a whole new set of things to do which is very exciting. This is a great way to just earn some extra gemstones, which is really, really cool. So we actually have a story that we finished over here, the Polo Club, and our team won the Polo game, so we managed to get three beautiful emeralds, a little bit of money, and some fame. I'm still really excited to see what that fame does. I imagine in the future, maybe it'll allow you to like have some sort of shop or something like that. And then I would love to do this. Any horse, prove that you own the greatest stallions. So we would just have to provide any male horse who would have that much energy. But since it's going to end in a couple hours, I'll kind of leave this alone because I don't know if that'll mess something up or if it'll just kick us out. So we're going to leave that alone and go ahead and go back into our German ranch. And good news, everyone! I have started to get a little bit more organized when it comes to Horsehaven because we have so many amazing friends, many of whom I want to start visiting. And several of you guys have been tossing me Horsehaven invites lately, so thank you so much. In order to become friends on Horsehaven, we first have to be playing on Android devices. If you are playing on an I like an iPhone or an iTablet something like an iPad there we go then it won't work and then we have to be um, friends on Facebook and then once that's done you can send me a friend invite it will show up right here where you can see Freddy and many of our other unknown friends have come by to visit and who else has been here oh yay thank you guys so much for the social breeding reward and the stable hand rewards it really helps to get that money from just people using me as your stable hand or coming by to breed with my horses I love it when you guys tweet me like which horses you have successfully bred with my horses because it's just so much fun. Oh, look at that. And Skyla became a friend. So she was one of the people who just kind of drives by randomly and we decided to friend her. And now we've got Skyla as our friend. Ooh, she's taking good care of her horses too. Look at this. They're all, they're all walking around. Oh, I love the flowers. Go Skyla. That is the way to do things. Leave the flowers out. Oh, very, very beautiful horses. Let's see. Ooh, and what did we get? A little bit of money, lots of corn. We've got a beautiful lineup of beehives right down here. I like the little touch of flowers. There's just a couple little flowers everywhere and that's wonderful. Maybe we'll plant more flowers in our French ranch today for our bees. All right, and she's got things moving and grooving over here with her mines as well. So very nice to see Skyla's beautiful ranch and we'll try to visit some more of your guys' ranches too. Which baby is this? Oh, it's the little Pisces. All right, so let's take Yasmin the Pisces and put her over here. Oh goodness, and let's see, Yasmin already needs to have the stable cleaned out. Oh, the foals every time. I always get pulled in by the little foals, you guys, because they're just so cute. Look at them, look at them. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I'm going to try to get another uh, Pisces today. So thankfully, I'm starting to keep notes. I write down your guys' names now in a little notepad so I can be like, oh, Courtney has Ambrosia, the tier three Pisces that I need to breed against. And then I'm pretty sure Skull Candy has the Aquarius who's Triton tier three that I need to uh, breed against. So uh, hopefully by keeping my notes more organized, I won't be like, oh, I can't find anything. And I'm really looking forward to more successful horse breeding in the future as a result. So let's see what else. <gasps> see? Daniela has sent us a friend invite and so again you have to be on an Android device as well or playing on Bluestacks which is an Android emulator for your computer and if you guys are trying to use Bluestacks because I get this question almost every Horsehaven episode use the old one use the one that was like Bluestacks 1 from back in December download the legacy one because Bluestacks 2.0 like crashes Horsehaven every time for me so use the old one it's totally worth it all right <gasps> tier 4 has closed congratulations horse breeder you have unlocked the tier 4 Arabian here are your rewards from unclaimed tasks. What? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so you know what? Let's go back and we will actually start that task because it looks like when the thing closes, you'll automatically get the rewards. That is so cool, you guys. Bunch of sapphires for us right there. That is awesome. All right, and thank you so much to Freddy and all of the unknowns for coming by to pet my horses. I think that's all the mail. And thank you so much to all the unknowns for helping me grow my crops. And then over here we've got more emeralds and some beautiful pearls. Ooh, and some extra diamonds. And look at this. I'm so excited, you guys. In just a few more days, so by mm, next week, we should be able to have the next constellation horse arriving. I really need to try to get the tier three of my my Pisces. Uh, no, not my Pisces. Why do I keep saying Pisces? It's because they're beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at them. They're pink. So I just attach myself to the pink ones. But Aries is my constellation birth horse. So we're going to work more on those guys. Let me go ahead and get some cherries. There we go. I got some cherries moving and grooving over there. And I think I'm going to have to make some painful decisions about which horses to keep where pretty soon. Because I'm running out of room again, you guys. And I think I might have to sell a few horses to make a little bit of room. So, hmm. Hmm. We'll look into that in just a minute. All right, so let's go over to our French ranch. Oh, and we need to check what our daily quests are for the day, of course. There's always a lot to do on Horse Haven. It always surprises me when we pop in and it's like, oh man, we've got a lot to do. All right, let's clean up the fields real quick. And it's really fun because a lot of our newer viewers, hello, you guys, have been like, Siri, why do you say that's poop? Those are clearly rocks. So we might have to have a poop versus rock vote in the comment section again for what that is in the fields. Because last time I said it was rocks and everyone was like, no, Siri, it's poop. So I was outvoted. And we'll just have to see. Oh, Nereus, you're almost level 15. And Nereus is actually, he's our male, so he can stay for now. But if we have some luck in the breeding, let's go ahead and feed you up, Nereus. There you go. Oh, 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 he's almost there, you guys. Oh my goodness, Nereus. You've almost le like fully leveled up. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. That'll be, that'll be quite the event. All right, so let's see. We've got a horse over here, and this is a tier two Aquarius. Very beautiful, but um, I already have a whole bunch of tier twos, even the tier one male. And I think, who is this? Come here, beautiful. Who are you? You are Harry. Harry, I think we are going to go ahead and possibly sell you, my friend. Um, he's our tier 2 male. Well, I guess that means I need to sell my tier 1 male. <gasps> Nereus, it might be your last day with us. And then the other thing I think I want to do is try to move my Pisces back over here. So let's go ahead and have our little Yasmin go ahead and find a new home. Off you go, Yasmin. And let's see if I can transfer her brother. Brayburn. All right, where is Brayburn? He's going to be in the French Ranch. There's Brayburn. And I'm going to transfer him. Can I speed that up somehow? Is it possible? Ah, it's not possible to speed it up. Dang it. So we'll have to try breeding with Ambrosia in the future. But because I was keeping all of my constellation horses at the same ranch, I'm not able to try breeding for both of my Pisces and my Aquarius at the same time. All right, so we're scooched him around a little bit. And let's go ahead and put the little one. Come here, Jean. At least you're, he's also a tier three, or a tier two, I mean. Oh gosh, and he wants some, some big old feed, so we might as well give it to him. Because the higher you raise your constellation horses in levels, even if you sell them when they're still foals, the higher level, the more diamonds they are worth, which is super useful. All right, there you go, buddy. Let's go ahead and back out. And then let's see, so what next, my friends? Let's check what the daily quests require. I already did a few of them earlier. They were really easy ones, like get such and such amount of coins, which I do every time I pop in in the morning just to see what's going on with our horses. So harvest 11 apples and harvest four blue feeds. So let's go ahead and do those things. How many apples is that? Yay, that was enough apples. Oh, and I think that there's something over here in the, the carousel. Yes, look, you guys, it is the new tree. It is the beautiful tree I love so much at the carousel. Oh my goodness, I want to see it. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting to get that tree. Let's go put it in the German ranch, actually. I have been waiting to get that tree for ages now. It's the beautiful tree where there's a little swing that sits in between the two trees. I definitely want it. All right, come here, you. All right, oh, look, it would fit over here perfectly. Let's move this big linden. Um, let's see, maybe right here. Oh, there's not enough room. There we go. Okay, there you go. And then let's see if I can get that big, beautiful tree. Where did it go? Christmas trees, so many unique decorations. What am I going to do with all these things? Who knows? <gasps> the love tree swing. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I am in love with it. Oh my goodness. Where am I going to put it? Maybe it, like I want to put it inside my little forest I have growing over here. So let's see if I can make a little bit of room for it. Come here, love tree swing. Oh, that's perfect. And then let's move the big, the little big linden, Leiden. Come on, buddy. Nope, that's a little bit too. Come on, scooch over here then. There we go. And then let's see if I can move maybe this one. Not you. Yeah, you. Let's see if I can move this one maybe over here. And then this one, the small, why is this one small? It's like big and fluffy compared to these guys, but apparently it's the small one. And then right over, where can I put you? Right there. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. 
Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I am so glad we were able to grab that. I need to put like another one. Yeah, well, I'll probably have some constellation crystals over there pretty soon anyway. So, oh my goodness, my little forest is growing. It is so cute. I am so happy with this. And then we have like this fancy Arabian lamp tree back there too. Very, very nice if you ask me. Oh, and somebody came to visit our village. So hello, random person who came by to visit. That's really cool. So we have expanded our forest, which makes me very happy. And let's go ahead and grab that blue feed and finish up our daily quest for the day. And we might even have enough time today to just visit a few random ranches, which is always fun. I know a lot of you guys are always super excited just to see if we happen to pop by your ranch or not. So let's go ahead and clean out the paddock. You gotta take good care of your animals, you guys. Even if they're virtual animals, it's good to get in the habit. All right, there we go. Clean all this up, clean this up. Mm, there, good, good, good. And then let's see, ah, blue feet, yes. I knew I started to get some blue feet moving and grooving earlier this morning. It pays to be prepared, you guys. It pays to be prepared. And there we go. Another daily quest completion. Ah, oh, it's really hard to complete the daily quest actually, but we only have five more days of trying to do it. And then we get the next level of reward. So I'm super excited to see what that is going to be. All right, and now that we are back over here, we can start with more of our breeding efforts. I do have my Aries over here, but I'm really eager to see what the Arabian, the tier 4 Arabian would look like. So I might take a peek at that first. Night Candy still needs more, um, more of the carrot pie. And apparently my storage is overflowingly full. Okay, can I go in here? Oh my goodness, apparently my storage is just like full of all the wrong stuff that I can't feed my horses. What about you? Are you hungry, Pira? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so funny. I can't believe I have so much stuff. I need to upgrade my storage again and probably just sell a bunch of stuff. There we go. Pira wants more grape feed in a little bit. And what about you? I guess I can take care of my little Aries. Dandelion and Daffodil, who are extremely cute, by the way. They're adorable. They're adorable little ponies. If you guys have a higher tier, I think I am only on tier one of the Aries. If we are friends and like you know we're friends because you can come and visit my ranch and you, are a higher, you have a higher tier Aries, then let me know your name and your level. Or if I don't see your name and you're just an unknown, let me know your level in the comments and then I will write it down in my new little list so we can start keeping everybody organized. That's really going to help me. All right, and then let's come over here. And who is this again? This is Abril. Abril is a tier 2 Arabian. Oh, Abril's from one of our earlier attempts at breeding up a tier 4 Arabian. So let's go ahead and feed him. We'll see how high we can get. And I, I'm pretty sure, like, the tier 2 is not quite... Uh, tier 2 doesn't sell for as much diamonds as the tier 3 when you hit level um, 10, but it's still, it's still a decent amount. Oh my goodness, and that still wasn't enough to really clear out space. Alright, well, I'll take care of the rest. What the heck do we even have? What the heck do we have in our storage that I'm so full up on? It looks like I'm full up on muffins. It looks like muffins are taking up almost- uh, Cherries! What is going on with these cherries? 95 cherries? That's ridiculous! That's ridiculous! Okay, let's go get some cherry feed started. What on earth am I doing with all these cherries? Alright, we, we need to make this- There needs to be something different going on here. So let's get these started. All right, mixed feed doesn't even use cherries, but I guess I'm gonna get a little bit of mixed feed going. And then what uses cherries? Fruit feed uses cherries. We'll get more fruit feed. And then cherry feed uses a ton of cherries. So there, now we should have a lot more room and I should be able to get things done. Can I even make some carrot pie? I just kind of want to start by making some carrot pie. All right, there we go. Oh, there is some carrot pie, sweet. And let's get more carrot pie going. I need more carrots for carrot pie, what? All right, well, we'll do that after we try breeding for the tier four quarter horse, or not quarter horse. We can do the quarter horse too. There's too many cool things to try to breed towards. All right, oh, and you want something? Yay, dandelion, I have that for you. There we go. But yeah, what, is your, what are your guys' current goals for horse haven right now? Because I'm really kind of leaning towards having my very first tier 4 horse be one of my big goals at the moment. Because I think that would be fun. There you go, Night Candy. Now I can feed you some of this carrot pie. And then I can go ahead and breed you and your beautiful mate, Nightshade, up. Alright, there we go. And let's see if we're going to be lucky enough to get the tier 4 quarter horse, you guys. There's Night Candy. Here's Nightshade. We're going to do some pure breeding. So, there it is. That 7% chance for the tier 4 Arabian. Oh my goodness, it would be a boy and he would have legendary status and it would be our very first legendary. <gasps> that would be so cool. Okay, so we need that little pink sliver. So that's what we're going for. 
I'm not sure if we'll have any luck. At the very least, we want blue, because it's... No! Okay, so no, no such luck. We'll just have to wait again. I might ask for help later. Ah, oh, that's okay. We do like those little Arabians. They turn into these adorable little guys. So we'll keep you taking- we'll take care of you as well. Those are always horses that you can raise up to level 10 and sell for diamonds. I have a lot of people always ask me, Siri, how do you have like so many diamonds? It's because I raise all of my horses I am not going to keep up to level 10 and then I sell them for diamonds and it's a really great way to do things. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put everybody out into the field and then let's go ahead and go try to breed up our other rare horses. So no, no lucky tier four today. That's all right. Is somebody visited? Oh, cool. Somebody's already come by to visit. Hello, unknown. And then I'll grab these so I can make more, more carrot pie. All right. So let's get the breeding done. So the really exciting breeding that's going to go down here is actually going to be between Drina and... Do -do. Yeah, Drina, 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 where are you? Right here. So it's going to be between Drina and Triton, who is over at School Candy's place, I believe. All right, let's do this. There you go. Hello, beautiful. There we are. I wonder if there'll ever be like tier four constellation horses available. That would be kind of cool. All right, they, all, they should almost have wings at that point. All right, I'm pretty sure it's School Candy. I need to make sure my notes are always reflecting that. Yes. <gasps> Look at all these guys! What? Oh my gosh. How exciting. Oh goodness gracious. Oh goodness. Sakura. Oh, we could have multiple. If I hadn't moved my horse, we would have had multiple chances. Alright, we're gonna be okay. Drina and Triton. Are we gonna have any luck? We're aiming for really all we need is like either the blue or the pink. We have a huge chance of getting our tier 3 here. Alright, let's see. Blue or pink? Blue or pink? Yes! You guys! Yes! Okay, is that a male? It's another female. <laughs> that is our third female tier three. So that's, I mean, really, that's a beautiful lot of horses that we could have. Just dang. Oh, that's okay. And that's all right. So we'll send these little girls off to grow up in the field. They can run around the paddock with some of you guys. At least they could if I could select it. Come on. There we go. So, Unknown, Unknown, and Facial, you will have them go out into the paddock, and Anastasia, uh, Nadine, and Latasha are going to take some of these guys out into the paddock. And is Nereus ready? Nereus, why do you want that many green feed? I, I question you for that, sir. But we can go ahead and just set Nereus out in the paddock, and this is his last walk. So, Denise, Sigmund, and Thomas are going to escort Nereus out on his last walk in the paddock, and then we'll be able to retire him next time. <laughs> and then Storm is going to go with Nathalie, Tanja, and Alex. So if one of you guys are among those stable hands, let me know, because that would be really fun to see. Ah, <sighs> Alright, so let's go ahead, and we are going to visit one more person. We are going to go visit Courtney, because Courtney tweeted me and gave me the idea to start writing names down when she tweeted me. I was like, hey, I know how to keep track of this person. But she tweeted me with a picture of Ambrosia, who is one of my favorite uh, of the Pisces that I've seen on other people's ranches. Uh, she tweeted me a picture of Ambrosia out. So let's go see if Ambrosia is available. And that's going to be level 32. Oh my gosh, notes are amazing. Stay. Oh, I went too far, I went too far. All right, level 32. Courtney, there you are. All right. I think it's the French ranch once again. And is Ambrosia out? <gasps> she is! Oh, and it's so pretty here. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, so let's come over to Ambrosia. And we're gonna, wow, look at those stats. And we're gonna go ahead and breed against her. Oh, I can skip with Brayburn. <gasps> I'm gonna do it. There we go. Skipping with Brayburn because he's a tier two. So let's see if Brayburn and Ambrosia, which are both types of apples, by the way, will have any luck giving me this tiny sliver. What? What? Look at this tiny, tiny, minute little sliver here. What? Okay. So we're going to be really lucky if we manage to make this happen. We're going to have to save up more diamonds and maybe even wait for another one of those like breeding wonder weeks. Because wow, 4% chance. Well, you know what, guys? Let's just roll the dice, have some fun, and tell me some names of apple varieties. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. We got a tier two at least, another tier two male. There we go. But yeah, let me know some apple variety names that you guys might know of that we could potentially name that baby. So it's a little boy, too. All right. Why aren't you in the breeding house? You should be... Braeburn, what are you... 
Wow! Apparently that's a way to keep him out of the breeding house but still have the foal. Take note of that little accidental loophole, you guys. All right, and let's go ahead and visit two more people. I'm just gonna close my eyes and it's Angela. So let's go visit Angela. Just because I feel like I haven't visited enough people recently, so that would be fun. Oh, look at that little beautiful rump on this halflinger named Pearl. What a beautiful name, too. I love the spots. Ooh, and then we've got some beautiful Frisians over here. Nice socks. And then let's come over and see what's going on in the French Ranch. Do do do. And if you guys have been um, like decorating your farm or something, then let me know and I'll try to write it down so I can start trying to visit people more often instead of just doing it randomly. So if you've really like tripped out your farm recently, then I would love to come and visit. I'll make a little list and see if I can keep track of it on the list. All right, you need to make sure we're friends though. So if you can visit my ranch, then you know you're in the clear. There we go, beautiful Estianos, gorgeous. Woo, and we've got this little pile of like farm going on down here. And then let's zip down, ooh, let's zip down a little bit further and try Sebastian's place. I feel like we visit Sebastian sometimes or maybe we just know a lot of Sebastians. Ooh, look at that. Awesome, I know somebody who knows how to get diamonds. Cause to me, raising the tier three Arabians is one of the best ways to get diamonds. All right, yeah, look at everybody training. And the beautiful rainbow that's going on over there. Nice. And then what do we have going on in the German ranch? Let's check. And, ooh, some very nice horses. We'll give them a little pats. I love the little castle style of the stable. Whew. All right, you guys, so that's everything. We have our daily quest. Did we send that horse out? I don't think we did. Let's come back over here. And I wanna make sure we have a horse in this task. So the charming stallion, let's let Brayburn go, why not? He's he's currently in the middle of like raising a baby, but, or like, I don't know, having a baby show up, but he seems to be able to pull that off. All right, and that'll be it for now. So let's go and do our little trivia quiz and see what the questions are for the day. Which food is unsafe for horses? Onions, I think, yes. And then, Fill in the blank, horse breed blanks, foxtrotter, Missouri foxtrotter. I'm from Missouri, so I know that question. Uh, which of the following is a French horse breed? I think the Breton? Oh, diamonds, those were easy for the day. Easy peasy. All right, you guys, I wish you luck on your horse breeding. Let me know how it's going and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.